This is Jason with Glitch in the System. Today we are going to do two quizzes from Udacity's front end web developer course. We're going to do quiz Laugh It Off 1 and Laugh It Off 2. All right, so the first quiz is pretty simple. We just need to declare a function called laugh that returns the string and print that value returned by the function. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and do that. So function, laugh, oops, and return that string. All right. Then all we have to do is console.log laugh. All right, and that's it. So when we call console.log, it's going to call the function, which returns the string. So console.log is going to get that string from that function call and it's going to print it out. Let's give it a go here. Oop. Test run. We have string. All right. Submit. And that's a pass. All right. Next test or quiz rather. Almost the same thing, but harder. So this time we're going to need to pass in a parameter called num and then the final so pass in a parameter called num that the num will determine how many of these haws we will add and then the final part will be adding an exclamation point so I am going to show you how I did it so we can just use this that we've already created so put num in there Let's just delete this for now. All right. And then let's see, they use three as an example for this. All right. So I'm going to create a variable to hold our string that we're going to build. So laugh string. And then on our function is called, we're going to set laugh string equal to nothing. So that makes sure that we have an empty string there. So what we're going to do first is if num is greater than zero, then we are going to do our, our, our stuff in here. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this if statement first is because if this number is zero or less, then we're not adding any, any of the haws. So I want to make sure that we're not creating a output of just exclamation point or or something bad so this is a little protection here um, so we can go ahead and do our for loop so for for i equals num so i is the num i is greater than zero then i minus minus okay so we're taking the value from num we're setting it to i so now i in this case would be three so since three is greater than zero we're going to do whatever we put in here and then each time we're going to subtract one until it gets to zero and then we're not going to do any more so what we need to do is build a string so laugh string plus equals ha so each time this loops it's going to add a ha on there to the string so that's that and then when it's done it is going to add that exclamation mark all right so you see if I didn't do this if statement first and I just did this then it would add an exclamation mark even though we have zero laughs so it would look kind of weird so let's go ahead and copy that paste that over here let's give it a test undefined let's see let's see if we can figure out what is undefined laugh string laugh for i all right i am not seeing what i did wrong okay i'm going to show you this console okay let's see if I can see it in the console test run nope okay 
let's just grab all this and paste it and hit enter undefined what is undefined oh wonder if it's this plus should be plus equals let's try that Test run. Still undefined. Oh, I know. We forgot to, or I forgot to, return laugh string. All right, so I built my string, but I didn't actually return it. So copy, let's just paste that, test run. All right, so that's why I was having a problem. I forgot to return it. So I built my string and now I'm returning it. So let me show you what happens if I do zero. Zero, so now I don't get an exclamation mark. Let's try one. So I get ha with one. All right, let's do a submit. And that's a passing test. All right, if you like the video, hit that button. Uh, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this.